Got another big retweet oh, uh, from Vito. <laughs> Vito just retweeted. Buzz. Buzz, the buzz, buzz is happening. I'm not going to be doing the buzzing because I think you both are tired. <laughs> and I think that's going to mean that you're going to oversleep tomorrow. No, I'm not even, I won't even leave tonight. I don't here. like it when you guys are tired and happy because that leads to stupid. <laughs> Hey, um, this is uh, the big news. If you are a fan of Westerly Wing, um, a very big, important show. And then he also did a big movie called the Facebook movie. And another movie is gone. Who, uh, he had another movie called Who's Going to Watch That Wall? You? <laughs> um, it's the man they call Alan Sorkin. Alan, Alan Sorkin. Alan Sorkin. Aaron. Aaron Sorkin. Aaron Sorkin. I'm reading it, Alan, right here. So, Alan Sorkin. That's the way Vito has it written. Look, Alan Sorkin. Aaron Sorkin. Now, this would be interesting for all you guys. He has set up a thing where he will teach you to write a screenplay. And, I mean, you're taking a guy like this. He's won the Emmy. He's won the Oscar. He's actually even won a Tony. What he hasn't won? The Grammy Award. He needs the Grammy. How can he get one? Forget that right now. Oh. He's going to teach you how to write a screenplay. What would you pay for this? Try this. 90 bucks. That's oh. it? That's a steal. I'm one doing one. it. Good news for you. We just got a big retweet from Hosp. The buzz continues. And you know what? I'm going to shine a spotlight on Hosp because I think a lot of times it's important to make your goals public. Hosp said being at that show the other night made him think he wants to try stand up. And I'm like, dude, put your goals out there. Just say you're going to do it. Say it. Yeah. He said he was a little jealous of the people, one in particular that was in the show. Not going to say who, oh. but he says his jealousy that he couldn't even enjoy <laughs> wow. their good set because his jealousy was through the roof. And Hosp has already been in a. Um, um, in a porn before. Wow. So hold on. Good news. Oh. We just got a retweet from everyone has a podcast, which has been named the next medium thing in podcasting. It's voted Alberta Canada's number one podcast. The buzz is going. <gasps> to buzz. Buzz. Thanks for the buzz. <laughs> would you pay 90 bucks to do this? Absolutely. Thing? I would absolutely pay 90 bucks to do it. Vito, would you? Oh yeah, I would. It's five hour. It's a five hour course, and he takes you all the way through it. It's going to be like Sorkin University. You you do it through your home computer system. Interesting. I'll be doing it on web TV, which I have hooked up to my television. Still, <laughs> why get why get a computer screen when I can just go through web TV? They give you a keyboard. Thank you. I've got a keyboard, and it's just great. It's best um, of both worlds, Rob. Nobody thinks this is a ripoff. No one thinks, why would you do this? No. You can't teach tr screenwriting. No, I think, I think it would be fun just to see how a professional like that would say, this is what makes a movie a movie. Even, you know, it's like when Vito likes to sit around and watch the extras. and Yo, Yeah, he loves shit. the commentary. Yeah, the commentary. This is a guy who's won these awards. But he's got nothing but words in it. I mean, when I make my movie, there'll be less words. My movie's going to have as many words as Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> you know what I mean? This guy's, mainly it's going to be guys pointing at shit. Grunt here and there. Yeah. <laughs> I think, well, the reason that I think it makes sense is because there are f formulas to screenwriting. You think Sorkin uses formulas, though? I think that he probably uses... Well, he's so dialogue-driven, so maybe mm -hmm. that's more like what his his focus is on. I have a theory about film. I'm going to share mine, and this isn't going to be for $90. It's going to be for $900. i am going to say this. Every script you write should have a beginning, middle, and an end. Really? You're missing any three of those. Write down. it down. I'm gonna write that down. And you're fucking up. Yes. Uh, I just have a quick question. Yeah. What if you just want to go from beginning to end? Do you think that could work? It could work if you don't want to get your film made. Okay. What, what you're missing is the middle. And that holds the beginning and end together. Yes, Vito. Question. No, I was just doing that thing where I sit too close to the mic again. Okay. Right, I have a question. Good. What yes. if it's just all middle? Well, what? Back to Vito. What? You're sitting just, you're leaning into your mic. 
Okay. <laughs> all metal. All metal. Is great for the middle of the film. Yeah. But you got to have that beginning and end to kind of be on either sides of the middle. Have you ever had a submarine sandwich before? Yes, I have. Imagine you get it and you don't have the ends. You don't have the beginning of the sandwich and the end I of the want sandwich. I crusty end. Thank you. It's the crusty end. Yes, Gail. I understand the three part system that you're talking about. Three prong. Yeah. Um, so what if I did this beginning, middle, another beginning? Would that work? Then the thing is, no one would be able to leave the theater because they would think that a new movie is beginning. Okay. The end gives me and all directors a place to tell you who did the sound, uh, let you know who did the costuming, who brought food in. And we line that up at the end. Yes, Pito. What if the twist was that there's no twist? The twist is that there is no twist. Yeah. Then that is a no twist. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now it's no longer even a twist; it's a swerve. Okay. Oh, okay. Think of it as a swerve that you're taking the audience. Like, haven't you ever been out with your family, right? And you're driving in the car, and they're like, oh, "Boring ride," and you swerve into some trees. Suddenly, everyone's sitting forward. Mm -hmm. They're excited. Yeah. Some of them have lost their teeth, and then you scream back at them. Now you'll fucking pay attention. That's what you're doing with a swerve in your script okay. or Smart. sides as i give them out to the actors i just give the actors sides now you say to yourself you ever been to a restaurant and you just had sides yeah yeah that's weird i like to eat an entree or well the, aren't the sides an entree so that's for, yes gail uh, i hear you talking about sides um but i've also heard you say that the stakes need to be high what are these steaks and sides well a steak i like to get them from the midwest big thick Juicy beef steaks. Mm -hmm. Now, when I say steaks, I'm always 100% talking about a beef steak. All right. A piece of fish, swordfish. To you, it might be a steak. To me, it's something that swims in the ocean like a can. Back to Gail. Uh, what about a tuna steak? Exactly. Tuna steak is what? Tuna, right? Yeah. Tuna. tuna. And, you know, just break that down. Two, okay. two, meaning two. that there's two. Yeah. And na, uh, uh, <laughs> na. So that's na, na, right? Two, na, two, na, 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 na. Think of that beat when you're writing. Chris, you had a question. Uh, going back to sides, what if it was an entree size? I'm side? I'm not going to spend forever talking about sides if you don't get the side concept by now. Question. Now, you're saying an entree as a side? A side, yeah. So, so you're saying a steak... And then a side of steak. Yes, like a smaller amount of steak. Remember when we did the tuna? Yeah. Tuna? Yeah. This is two steak. Two steak. Okay. Two. 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 What else is two? When we say the number two. Oh, like two, like also like two. No, but when you go number two. Oh, yeah. two, Poop. yeah. Poop. What is that? Shit. And that's what your script is. Oh, come okay. on. I, I mean, see this what you mean. all the beginning stages. Oh, God, this is Vito, I see you look confused. Let me tell you something when you're confused. Right. You have a fever, right? You're shitting yourself, right? There is no excuse to not write. That's the Bennington way. You write. I've started something new. Why I'm writing a script? I'm writing another script. Gail. What do you do about writer's block? I write about writer's block. I've got 17 scripts right now called writer's block. That's a lot. Okay? But the script gets done. And that's the beauty of it. Now. If you say, how many scripts have you written? I've written over a thousand. How many have I had made? None. I can still s consider that writing a thousand scripts. And I say this all the time. I'd rather write a thousand scripts than not have written a thousand scripts. To na, na, na. Yes. Chris, you look confused. I mean, a thousand scripts. Yes. I haven't, I haven't gone through one yet. That's because you're stupid. What oh. you need to do, and you haven't worked the program. For $900, I'll guarantee you, you'll probably write a 1,000 scripts by the time you're done. One of the scripts that I forgot I, to tell you I even wrote was called Goodfellas. What? Mm -hmm. I had no idea. Yeah, it was on TV. And I just sat there typing <laughs> along with everything that was on. And by the time I had fucking finished, I felt like I'd written one of the best true crime stories of all time. Goodfellas. Ron, yes. 
All right. There's the beginning, the middle, the end. Oh, my God. Yes, there is. What if Chris, there's we've an epilogue? Time time what if there's again. an epilogue? Is this an, comes are you writing end. a novel? Because if you want to write a novel, go out and don't sell a fucking novel. Rather than become a big fucking scriptwriter like me, Sorkin, and two other motherfuckers. Yes, Gail. How important is character backstory? Not at all. It's not important. I've never watched a film that I've ever sat there and I'm like, who is that person? Where did he come from? I just immediately accept him. And why do we accept him so quickly? Because he's in the movie. In movie. the movie. Yeah. If someone's in the movie, we know they belong there. Okay. Okay. You're right. So if a cartoon dog just showed up in The Godfather, you're like, well, I guess this is the way things work. Because there it is in the movie. Never edit. Never rewrite. That's for what? Losers. Or what's another one for losers? Assholes. And another word for that? Jerk off. Stanley's. Oh. Always Stanley. it comes okay. under the Stanley yeah, thing. Okay. Stanley's <laughs> steamer as to shit. <laughs> and we'll receive shit right. from another. It's very specific Back to, to me. Two. Yeah. Shit. Good wait, good news right here. Stephen Knight has retweeted the hashtag. The buzz is starting buzz. to get loud. Thanks for the buzz. buzz. We got Stephen Knight on our side. Oh, thank God. Yes, uh, Vito. What do you? What about the flashback technique in film? Well, when you flash back, when is it happening? It's happening now, right? Yes. So it's still now. It's not even a flashback if you're seeing it now. And I will watching any film. If there's a flashback, I'll yell out, "It's happening now," <laughs> because when memory takes place, it takes place in the present. It doesn't take place in the what? Past or future. Or what? What am I looking for? Present. Pudding. It doesn't take place oh. in pudding. It takes place there. in the present. Now, what's another time that we get present? Uh, Christmas. And? Our birthdays. Right. And whose birthday is Christmas? Jesus. Right. So that's what you're doing at all times. You're writing for and about and to Jesus. Mm. It all comes back to Jesus. <laughs> Did it ever leave Jesus? I, that's, I thought, no. Yeah, you thought. Thinking is what's gotten you in trouble, Stanley. Thinking is what's gotten you in trouble. So this is worth 900 bucks per session. How many sessions? Probably 60. <laughs> wow. With you, I'm going to probably say 75. I'm gonna get You're going to go and throw out the summer. Checkbook, what year is this? <laughs> Can I PayPal you this? And believe me, every person who takes this is going to win an Oscar. Everyone. Oh, that's a guarantee? That's a 100% guarantee. That's the Bennington guarantee. Excuse me, Ron? Look, I think we're past that. You can call me Mr. Bennington. Mr. Bennington? Bennington? Can I apply this to TV writing as well? Sure, if you want to fucking take caviar and fucking rub it all over a dog's ass. <laughs> TV is for fucking hacks. I'm talking about film. Actual film. <laughs> business. Not fucking TV. TV's pissing into a fucking wind and i don't do that because the piss will end up back on me well i don't want to be covered in my own piss or other people's then why do you stench from it seriously now i'm writing an adaptation of another movie what movie uh it's called terminator and <laughs> um but this now i'm starting this with a twist yeah and this one a human goes back in time to kill a robot. Oh, my God. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. And that's where the fucking, they fucked up the first time, is they had the robots trying to kill humans. Who wants to see that? Everybody wants to see a machine get smashed. Because we hate them. You hate them. I'm just saying it as a way to protect the what? The race? Human race? Future. <laughs> oh. You know what? If there was a human race, yeah. you'd probably have a fucking stitch in your side, and you'd be over drinking water. I think we're just getting ready to wrap this one up. Did everybody feel like they got enough out of the next day? I feel like I've learned so much. All right. I'm going to pass around a barrel head. Everybody lay 900 bucks down on it. Okay. Because I got to make some what? Money. Because I got to get what? Paid. I got to get paid. Got to. I got to make those dollars. Let's right? make the paper. Yeah. Cheddar. Make them coins. Yeah. I like to make them coins. Skrilla. What? No. Skrilla. That's Skrillex. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. <laughs> Um, boom, 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 boom. Uh, that's it for us. We're in very, very early tomorrow morning, okay? 
I think we're going to be in here at 3 a.m. Seven. Okay, you go on the air at, th at 7 a.m. I need four hours to prep for that show. <laughs> I'll be there then, Rod. Yeah.